We continue now at the top of Daf Bezum and Bezum Maseches Megillah. This is Megillah Daf 2b. The Gemara is saying that according to Ravashi, he felt there was a contradiction within Rav Yehuda. And he said that the Brisa has to follow Rav Yosi Bar Yehuda in order to resolve the contradiction. And the Gemara now explains what the contradiction is. Does Rav Yehuda really say that nowadays, since everybody looks to Purim in order to decide what's going on with the calendar, so in Korno Selabizmana, so that nowadays you can only read it on the 14th, you can't read it on the 11th and the 12th and the 13th. Is that really true that Rabbi Yehuda says that? Uramini, we have the following contradiction. Amr Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda says, Amos, I, when is this true? Makam Shenichnasim Besheni Uvachamishi. It's only true that we read a little bit earlier, possibly on the 11th, 12th, or 13th. Again, if it's an area where they generally gather on Mondays and Thursdays. Avom Makam Shenichnasim Besheni Uvachamishi. But if you have an area where they don't generally gather on Mondays and Thursdays, Ein Koronosa Elabizmana. You can only read the Megillah in the proper time, meaning on the 14th. And so now Rav Ashi said the contradiction seems as follows. From this particular b'risa, what does it seem? From this particular Mishnah, what does it seem? That Mokom Shenechnosen B'Sheni Uvechamishi, from this Mishnah that we just quoted, it seems that if you have a place where they do gather on Mondays and Thursdays, Mio Karinon Vafilo Bismanazeh, you can read the Megillah early even nowadays. And so therefore the b'risa seems to say that nowadays you can never read early. So it seems to be a contradiction between the b'risa and the previous Zomud and this Mishnah. Umukim lo lebrisa k'rav Yosi bar Yehuda, and therefore Rav Ashi said that the brisa that we quoted earlier that says that nowadays you can never read early that must follow not Rav Yehuda it actually follows Rav Yosi bar Yehuda. So the Gemara says umishum the kasha leid Rav Yehuda Rav Yehuda just because he has a contradiction within Rav Yehuda mukim lo lebrisa k'rav Yosi bar Yehuda therefore he says that the brisa must be Rav Yosi bar Yehuda. And the Gemara says very simply, Rav Ashi Shmili Deiko Detani Lok Rav Yehuda Deiko Detani Lok Rav Yosi Bar Yehuda. Rav Ashi actually had already heard that some people have that brisa authored by Rav Yehuda and others have that brisa authored by Rav Yosi Bar Yehuda. Umi the Kashalei the Rav Yehuda the Rav Yehuda. Therefore, since he had a contradiction within Rav Yehuda, Amar Man Detani Lok Rav Yehuda Lav Davka Man Detani Lok Rav Yosi Bar Yehuda Davka. The one who says it's taught by Rav Yehuda, that's Lav Davka. That's not exactly accurate. Rather, it actually was taught by Rav Yosi Bar Yehuda and that. That would resolve the contradiction. And the Gemara continues at the two dots, quoting the Mishnah, It said, if you have a city that was surrounded by a wall, from the days of Rabbi Yoshua ben Nun, they would read on the 15th of Adar. Gemara says, From where we know this is true, Amar Rava, Rava says, the Amar Krav, because the Pasuk says, Alkein hayyudim ha-prozim ha-yoshvim biyore ha-prozes v'gomer. Talks about the Jews who live in the cities that are not walled. So mi de prozim biyar ba-aser, from the fact that it's clear that the unwalled cities are on the 14th, mukavim b'cham misha aser. So it comes out that those who are in the walled cities must be on the 15th. Gemar says, how do you know that? Ve'em a prozim biyar ba-aser, mukavim klal klal lo. Maybe the prozim, the unwalled cities, read on the 14th. Maybe the walled cities don't read at all. So the Gemara says that cannot be the case. V'lav Yisrael, Ninu are the other Jews who live in walled cities, are they not part of Klal Yisrael? V'yod me hodu v'yad kush k'siv. Also it says all the Jews who live from hodu until kush seems to include everybody. But the Gemara continues, V'eima prozim be'ar be'sar, mukafin be'ar be'sar v'char me'sar. Maybe we should say that the unwalled cities, they read on the 14th, and the walled cities, they read on the 14th and the 15th. K'rech siv, and that would follow the Pasuk, which says, Lios osim es yom ar ba'asar l'chodash adar, ves yom chamisha asar ba'asar it says every year you do the 14th and the 15th. Maybe it means to say that in the walled cities you can do, you do both, the 14th and the 15th. So the Gemara says, If it said the 14th and the 15th, then it would be as you said. But Now that it says the 14th and then it says That word S there, it separates and it means to say different people do it on different days. These ones do it on the 14th. And these ones in the wall cities, they do it on the 15th. And the Gemara continues, Maybe the way it works is as follows. The unwalled cities read on the 14th, and the walled cities could do whatever they want. They could do the 14th or the 15th. So the Gemara says, No, Omar Kro, the Pasuk says, In their times, and it means to say, The time that this one reads is not the time that that one reads, meaning the unwalled cities and the walled cities have to read at different times. And so the Gemara continues, Ve'ema bitzleisar. So the Gemara says, well, why don't we say that it's really on the 13th? How do we know that the walled cities read on the 14th? And the Gemara says, Keshushan, it follows like Shushan. 
And Rashi over here explains, Now there is a Pasuk that says the 15th, so how could it be the walled cities are on the 13th? That's for Shushan. Shushan would do it on the 15th. The Kava Kederach Sha'asu Betesva Bishan Rishon. Because in Shushan it was actually on the 15th in the first year, the first Purim ever. So in Shushan it would always be the 15th, but maybe all other walled cities would be on the 13th. Umeshani, and then the Gemara answers, Kishushan, walled cities should, should follow Shushan. Kevin Delo Ramaz Loch Akos of Zman Hamukaf and Amos, who since it doesn't tell you specifically when the walled cities read, the Eshkechan Shushan Sha'asu Betesvav, and we find that Shushan, they do it on the 15th. So Mestabra Sha'asu Hayom Shayar Lemukaf, and it makes sense that they would also be the day for the walled cities. But the Gemara continues, Eshkechan Asiya, these Pesukim are very good when it comes to doing, on Purim Rashi will explain. But Zechira Minol, and how do you see anything in these Pesukim about remembering? meaning the reading of the Megillah, as Rashi over here says, Eshkechon Asiyah de Mishta V'yomtev. These Pesukim are good at indicating the, the feast that we make and the celebration we make. Shetei Leprozim B'yodal Rumu Kofen Betesvav. The unwalled cities would be on the 14th, the walled cities on the 15th, that's all good. But Zechira, Kriyas HaMegillah, the fact that we read the Megillah in this fashion, Menolan, how do you know that? Shenik V'lem Zman Leprozim Barba Osir, that for example, there's a time for the unwalled cities on the 14th. Habahai Krodi Alkei Nayudim HaProzim HaYosh Vembare HaProzos Osim Asiyom Arba Osir V'gomer Asiyah Hu Dechsev. This Pesuk that you quoted about the unwalled cities, Osim, that's talking about Asiya, that's talking about the Mishnah and the Yontif, that's not talking about the Zechira, it's not talking about the reading of the Megillah. And so the Gemara answers, Omar Kra, the Pasuk says, v'nasim. It says, these days will be remembered and will be performed, and so it's talking about Zechira and Asiya, Iskish Zechira Asiya. That tells us that we should compare the Zechira to the Asiya, so therefore the Zman for the Asiya is going to follow the same Zman, is going to be the Zman for the Kriya, the Zechira, that's when we're going to read the Megillah. And the Gemara continues, Masnizan de Loi Ki Haitana de Tanya. Our Mishnah does not follow the author of the following Brysa. It says in the Brysa, Rabbi Yoshua ben Karcha Omer, Rabbi Yoshua ben Karcha says, Korachim Hamukaf and Choma, Miyamos Achashverosh, Koran Bechamisha Asr. It says the wall, the cities that are surrounded by walls, doesn't say from the days of Yoshua ben Nun, it says from the days of Achashverosh, they read on the 15th. That doesn't seem like our Mishnah that says from the days of Yoshua ben Nun. And the Gemara says, My time with Rabbi Yoshua ben Karcha. What is the reason of Rabbi Yoshua ben Karcha? Ki Shushan, the reason is it's all compared to Shushan. Ma Shushan, Mukefes Choma, Miyamos Achashverosh, just like Shushan was surrounded by a wall from the times of Achashverosh, the Koran Bechamisha Asr, and they read on the 15th, Avkal Shem Mukefes Choma, Miyamos Achashverosh, so to any city that was that is surrounded by a wall from the times of Achashverosh, Koran Bechamisha Asr, they should read on the 15th. And the Gemara says, Vitana Didon, what about the town of our Mishnah? Why does the town of our Mishnah say from the days of Yoshua ben Nun? My time, and what's the reason for our Tana? Yolif Prozi Prozi. Learns the Gazer Roshava from the word Prozi. Ksiv it says over here, Alkena Yudim ha Prozim. It uses the word Prozim. Uksiv Hosim, and it says over there, Levad me ore ha Prozi. It says, beside the, the, ore, Besides the ore ha Prozi, Harbe Maod. So when it's talking about the, the ore ha Prozi, that's a possible that's written in the Chumash, talking about from the days of Yoshua ben Nun. So Ma'ala ha just like over there, it's talking about cities that are surrounded by walls from the days of Yoshua ben Nun. Afkan ben Nun. So too over here, when we talk about the Ore, the the Prozim, when we talk about the Yehudim HaProzim, we're talking about the cities that are unwalled or walled, whatever we're discussing, from the times of Yoshua ben Nun. And the Gemara continues, Bishlama Rabbi Yoshua ben Karcha lo Amar Ketana Didon. I understand why Rabbi Yoshua ben Karcha doesn't follow the Tan of our Mishnah. The Lesley Prozi Prozi. He doesn't have a tradition of this Gezer Shava of Prozi Prozi. El Tana Didon. My time alone, Amar Rabbi Yoshua ben Karcha. But why does our Tana follow the reasoning of Rabbi Yoshua ben Karcha, who learns from Shushan? So my time. So the Gemara says, What's the reason? What do you mean? What's the reason? Do Lesley Prozi Prozi. We just said that he does have a tradition of the, of the Gezer Shava of Prozi Prozi. So the Gemara says, no, what we mean to say is as follows. Shushan Davdin and Kaman, what does Shushan follow? Loki Prozim, Veloki Mukafin. Shushan doesn't seem to be following the Prozim and doesn't seem to be following the Mukafin either. As Rashi over here explains, Hachi Kamar, El Shushan, Dov the Kamani, Alfinon Hach Gezeira Shava, if we're learning the Gezeira Shava, so Hech Asu, Osan Shubh Shushan Betazvav, the people in Shushan, why are they doing it on the 15th? Ha Prozim, that should be considered an unwalled city, it's not from the times of Yoshua ben Nun. Veloya Din and Bashuk from Imos Yoshua. We don't know that it's been surrounded by a wall from the days of Yoshua ben Nun. So, in other words, if you're going like if you're going like the Gezer Shavu of Prozi Prozi, Shushan doesn't seem to fit. Why is Shushan doing it on the fifteenth? 
And so that's what the Gemara says, Loka Prasim, Loka Mukafin, it doesn't fit in any of the categories. So the Gemara says, Amar Rava Rava says, Viami Lokadi, and some say it was said on its own, Shani Shushan, the Shushan is different, Hoel Venasa Bones, because the miracle actually happened in Shushan, as Rashi over here says, Hoel Venasa Bones, Shanitan Lam Gamachar Lasos Kedosa Yom, they had permission the next day to do the same as the day before, Larug Besonem, to kill out their enemies, Shnei Yomim for two days, Al Karchan Lo Nochla Tesvav, so therefore they didn't get to rest until the 15th, Vechain Kavula Doro, so that's why for all generations they do it on the 15th. They are essentially the exception to the rule, even though they're not surrounded by a wall from the days of Yoshua bin Nun. And the Gemara continues, B'Shlomo Latana Didon. I understand, according to the Tan of our Mishnah, Hainu Dechsev Medino, Medina Ve'ir Ve'ir. The Pasuk says, Medina and Medina and Ir Ve'ir, meaning to say, Medina and Medina, the Pasuk when it says, Medina and Medina, L'Chalik Bein Mukhaf and Choma Mimos Yoshua Bin Nun, L'Mukhaf and Choma Mimos Achashverosh. We're saying, every Medina does it at a different time. We make a distinction between those surrounded by a wall from the days of Yoshua Bin Nun, and those that are surrounded by a wall from the days of Achashverosh, and then Ir Ve'ir Nami L'Chalik, also so when it says ir ve'ir, we're making a distinction between different kinds of unwalled cities. Ben Shushan l'shara yaros. We're making a distinction between Shushan and other cities. El al Rabbi Yosho ben Karcha. But according to Rabbi Yosho ben Karcha, what are all these different uh, locations? Bishlama Medina Medina. I understand Medina and Medina. Lechalik ben Shushan l'shara yaros. We're making a distinction between Shushan and other cities. Ela ir ve'ir l'mayos. But what do you need ir ve'ir for? You don't need that additional distinction according to Rabbi Yosho ben Karcha. As Rashi over here explains, Medina Medina ir ve'ir. By when it talks about the reading of the Megillah and making it a yontiv, it says, The Pasuk means to be saying, every Medina should follow its minhag, and every year should follow its minhag, every city. You see that there's a distinction within Medinos and a distinction within Ayaros. In other words, Shushan and other cities are different. Even though really Shushan is part of the Prozim, because it was not surrounded by a wall from the days of Yeshua ben Nun, still it's going to be on the 15th. Again, that's according to Tana Didon. But according to Rabbi Yeshua ben Karcha, Shushan is the same as any other walled city. We're following walled cities from the times of Achashverosh. So there's just one distinction between those that are walled from the times of Achashverosh and those that are unwalled. And so therefore, again, according to Rabbi Yeshua ben Karcha, what does it mean? Medina, Medina, and Ir Ve'ir. And so the Gemara answers, Amar Lach Rabbi Yeshua ben Karcha. Rabbi Yeshua ben Karcha will respond to you. Well, the Tana Didon Minicha is really so good according to the Tana of our Mishnah. Again, the Tana of our Mishnah who says that we make a distinction between a walled city from the days of Yoshua ben Nun and a walled city from the days of Achashverosh and that Shushan is an, is an exception. Does everything really work out so well? Kevon de Islay Prozi Prozi. If if, Rebbe, if the Tana of our Mishnah rather has this Gezeira Shav of Prozi Prozi to learn out this idea from the days of Yoshua ben Nun, so Medino Medina Lamali, you still don't really need Medino Medina. In other words, if the Gezeira Shav of Prozi 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 already makes a distinction between walled cities from the times of Yoshua ben Nun and walled cities from the time of Achashverosh. So what do you need Medina Medina to make the same distinction for? So the Gemara says, rather you have to say, Alakral Adrasha Udasa, it must be that this Pasuk is really for Adrasha. Uchud Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi Udasa, it's for the Drasha that's given by Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi. Diyam Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, because Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi said, Krach v'chol asamachla, when we talk about a Krach, when we talk about a walled city, we're talking about the walled city and anything nearby, v'chol hanira imo, and everything that appears with that everything that's in sight of that walled city, Nidon Kekrach, that's considered like a walled city. And Ad Kam, and the Gemara says, how far does that extend? Amr Rav Yirmiyah v'yitemer Rav Yechia Barabba. Rav Yirmiyah says, and some people say Rav Yechia Barabba says, Keme Chamson L'Teveria Meal. It's like the distance from Chamson to Teveria. It's the distance of one meal. If it's within a meal of the walled city, then it reads on the 15th. It's considered like a walled city. As Rashi over here explains, Uchud Rav Yoshua ben Levi uvechiluk loayri klal, the Pasuk has nothing to do with making distinctions between various kinds of cities. al Hakikamar, here's what the Pasuk actually means. Kal ir ve'ir hasamach Medina. If you have a city nearby the Medina, then it follows that halacha, meaning nidon kekrach v'korin betesvav. If it's near the walled city, it has the halacha of the walled city, and it reads on the 15th, ha-samach afagav she'eno nira, nira afabi she'eno samach. And as Rashi says, we're going to say later on, nearby, even if it's not within a site, and if it's within sight, even if it's not nearby, hacha mefarish l'kamon, that's how we're going to explain later on. So in any case, what is the distance that's considered nearby? It's considered to be a meal. Gemara says, v'leim a meal, why not just say a meal? What are you saying, kemei chamsen to vary for. So the Gemara says, HaKamash Mulan, the Shiura, the meal, Kamahave, it's to come to teach us what is the distance of a meal, Kamehamson, let's vary, it's like the distance from Hamson to Tiveria. 
And the Gemara continues, and Rabbi Yirmiya says, and some people say it was Rabbi Chia Barava that says, Minatspach Tzufim Amorum. This is the letters Mem, Nun, Sadi, Pei, and Chof that was said by the Tzufim. Rashi says that was said by the Nevi'im over the various generations. They said this idea that you double these letters, meaning there's a concept of a Mem and a Mem Sophis and a Nun and a Nun Sophis and a Tzadi and a Tzadi Sophis and a Pei and a Pei Sophis and a Chof and a Chof Sophis. That was said by the Nevi'im. So the Gemara says, Vitzbra, is that logical? Does that make sense? Voxib, the Pasuk says, Eilah HaMitzvahs, these are the Mitzvahs. And we have a drasha from that, She'ein Novi Rashoi L'Chadish, Dover Me'ata. A Navi is not allowed to come up with something new from after the Torah was given. So it can't be that the Nevi'im were mechadish, this idea of menatzbach. V'yod and further, Ha'amar Avchista, didn't Avchista say, Mem v'samech shabaluchos, that the Mem and the Samech that were carved into the Luchos, and we'll continue with this discussion in the next video, on Daf Gimel Amad Aleph.